1960 in Squaw Valley, a young American beauty named Carol Heiss captivated the world by winning Olympic gold for the U.S. Well, 33 years later, she is here in Prague now coaching two of the American entries in these world championships. When I look back over the last 33 years and remember my skating career, it's with a very, very warm, wonderful feeling. It was just a cold, wintry day and we just all went out on the lake and it was a family afternoon and uh, when the lake wasn't frozen anymore, we said, well, why can't we go skating? And my mother was um, just very energetic and very enthusiastic, and she said, well, well, we'll find a place to skate. And then I skated pretty much every day. Now here's the girl to watch, Miss Carol Heist. Winning the first American gold medal in Squaw Valley, California, was the storybook ending to Carol Heiss's brilliant career. She entered the competition as four-time reigning world champion, proving her excellence one more time. I remember just standing there thinking, a very patriotic feeling and I remember I had to open up the box and look at it to be sure it was gold and it really was the Olympic medal and then it became a very personal feeling. Carol Heiss grew up in New York City and was warmly welcomed home when she returned. She married U.S. men's figure skater Hayes Jenkins just months after Squaw Valley. Between them they each hold an Olympic championship and nine world gold medals. The all-American sweetheart had it all. I just love the competition and the friends and the traveling and everything that went with it and uh, my dream now is to um, coach an Olympic champion 15 year old Lisa Irvin may someday help Carol fulfill this dream with similar styles and mutual adoration they seem a perfect pair when Lisa was seven her life changed forever moving by herself to Cleveland to train with some former skate you know, I was a typical seven-year-old. I didn't really know who she was. She was just another person standing in front of me. But um, after I'd gotten, you know, a tryout and I'd come back for the summer and I'd spent time with her, you know, it really hit me that she was a real person and she did all these things and, you know, Olympic champion and she was everything that I wanted to be. Following in her coach's footsteps, Urban's success has skyrocketed winning novice and junior championships back-to-back -back and delving into seniors competition with immediate success, taking the silver at the recent U.S. Nationals. And I've always been sort of an underdog, and I love being an underdog because everyone usually says, they usually count you out, and I'm trying to tell, you know, I'm trying to you know, paint a picture that you can never count me out. For some, the world championships bring disappointment and shock. Those feelings are all too real for Tanya Kwiatkowski, but last Monday she failed to advance in the world's first ever qualifying round. I had a great week in practice. I felt good. My warm-up was good. And when I got out there, I just could not get my feet underneath me. I just, no matter what I tried, it just didn't, didn't happen. You know, I was really upset. I was sad. I was kind of shocked. And it's, you just have to deal with it and go on. I really died a little bit inside because as a, another woman, you know, looking in the skater, uh, my first instinct was not really as a coach, but as a, as a friend. Um, just thinking, I wish I could help her somehow. You know, you just can't shake those things off. So one Carol Heist protege rudely eliminated early. Here's the other, Lisa Irvin. She'll be 16 next month. The failure of her teammate Kwiatkowski has to have impacted her, Sandra. Oh boy, and sometimes those nerves are contagious amongst friends. She must feel like she's skating for the both of them. Technical program, and what are the elements? 
Well, there are eight of them, and it's do or die. The most difficult of the eight elements is the combination, the jump combination. Lisa opens with hers. This all-A student, sophomore in high school now, will be skating for this experience at the World Championships and try to block out that terrible start. It all depends on how the, all the other ladies skate. That's true. It has been epidemic at times, hasn't it? It's been going to happen. Three years in a row, Lisa has finished second in the World Junior Championships. So a meteoric rise this year from number two in the World Juniors to competing in the World Seniors as the U.S. number two. A lot of responsibility for a young lady. Lisa Irvin, perhaps the weight of skating for Carol Heiss and for her teammate Tanya Kwiatkowski, a little too heavy. Well, the rest of the program was great, but once you miss the combination, you're pretty much out. You never want to depend on others' mistakes for your placing. And here's her triple loop. Watch her right side. Watch it drop right there. That's where it went. She couldn't say that. Marks for the required elements, and there's nothing uglier than, in any language, the sound four point something. Well, unlike the long program, the technical program does require specific deductions for missed elements. Will the artistic impression be, or the performance be, any better? Yes, of course, because the performance was good. She was a little flat after her disappointment, but it, the performance was good. Now she didn't want to hear uh, any excuses. She just didn't do it, Lisa Urban. True competitor. Yeah, I like her moxie. Well, she is the future, and here is the present. Nancy Kerrigan, U.S. number one, and favored to win the gold in Prague. She'll skate later. I spoke with Boyd.